and welcome to the X Gear Jammer Trucker Channel. <laughs> uh, we are sitting here in Ogden, Utah, right now, about 3:57. Ooh, that's a nice one. 3:57, I guess, and uh, we're picking up a load. Let's go into um, Franklin, Indiana. It's Treehouse. It's cookies. We have uh, 29,202 pounds, 1,764 pieces, so we're not going to need to scale this load out. We're just going to hook and book, head towards Wyoming for today. my friend we are hooked and we're ready to book uh i'm ready to clock some miles for today so we're gonna get on out of here and uh just see where we end up by the end of the day i mean i got let's see what do i got i got eight hours driving but i don't think i'm going to because i don't need to i got three days other than today and we have 1546 miles to drive Makes it easy. And the time right now is 4.30, Thursday, March 21st. You'll see this video a week later. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. That's just how it works for me. So, most likely be shut down somewhere in um, Wyoming tonight, most likely. If I make it to Fort Briggs to the TA, I'll be just fine with that. Alright. I'll get back with you guys in just a little while. We're gonna clock some miles. I'm done for the day. I made it to Green River, Wyoming, and it's windy and cold out here. I'm going in the truck. Anyway, we got less than 1,500 miles to go to Franklin, Indiana, so I may be looking to drop this load a little bit early, and um, 
it's after seven o'clock so yeah i'm gonna call an night and uh we'll just see what happens tomorrow see what tomorrow morning brings see you then well it's six o'clock in the morning and we're heading out Next stop, Wham Suter. We'll fill up our tanks at the Love's truck stop there. Welcome to Lubes, <laughs> and good morning, sunshine. Well, I can't even tell you how much handy this visor here, an extension, has uh, did for me on my drive this morning. Keeping that sunshine out of my eyes, so, actually works perfectly if you ask me. That thing allows me to keep my front window open, so you guys have a better view. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh... I can still see without blinding myself. Okay, so let's get some diesel fuel now. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, I was just barely under a half a tank when I stopped here, so we're getting pretty decent fuel mileage now. Come on. Let's start pumping. So I'm back to my... Uh, Depending on the, the, the way to load, obviously, anywhere between 1,000 and 1,200 uh, miles per gallon. Which ain't too bad for one of these trucks. Everything's looking good still. Not seeing any problems. I got to sit here and hold this pump, so I'll get back to you guys in a minute. It likes to fall out on me. God dang it, man. I made a big mess. I got that DEF all over my tank. We'll look later. I'll have to clean it. Well, looky here. Let me tell you guys something. It does not play to pay or pay to play in the mud. He is stuck. He is stuck like Chuck. <laughs> he going nowhere. Yeah, buddy. I can tell you from experience. Do not go in mud avoid mud at any cost i don't give a crap if i gotta drive three blocks out of my way to avoid mud <laughs> i do not play with mud mud will get you stuck then you gotta call a tow truck and all right you already know the situation let's get back to trucking let's burn some diesel get these 18 wheels rolling
beautiful drive today. Sydney, Nebraska at the Love's Truck Stop. I drove 376 miles today. Maybe 380 because I forgot to turn my GPS on. I'm going to stop. Take my break. I got two hours and 20 minutes left on my clock, so take a break. While I take a break, I'm probably going to go get a shower. Maybe some food. Maybe I'll eat later. Undetermined at this point. You know, just uh, go get a shower for sure and go from there. And sheesh, I might get a nap later too. I don't know. The time is 18 minutes after 12 right now. and So anyway... I'm going to jump in the back, gather up my clothes together, and check in for a shower. Kick back and relax. Not in a big hurry. I still got three days to drive. Well, two days counting today. And I'm down to 1,026 miles. And I still got five hours and 20 minutes to drive today. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Weather's great. Everything's good. Everything's looking good. Everybody's cruising. You know, traffic staying moving. That's what I'm talking about. It's all good. No wind to speak of, which is great. Because I got a very light load. Alright, talk to you in a bit. Stuff to do. Oh, that shower was fantastic. I enjoyed every minute of it. Woke my butt right up, so there goes that nap. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and truck. Another three hours, four hours. And that's about it. So let's go trucking. Turn these wheels and burn some diesel. Hope you're enjoying the shotgun seat views. done for the day I'm here at the Boselman uh, pilot in um, Grand Island Grand Island Nebraska my god I had to think holy crap so yeah I'm gonna stop here and take my break just uh, walking around the truck making sure everything's good right now holy crap it's cold out there Whew. Anyway, that's what happens when you get old. You can't think no more. <laughs> Jesus, criminy. Anyway, it was a good day. 630 miles in. So yeah, buddy. Being about a quarter after six, I'm right up front here. There's no way of being blocked in in the morning. That's super cool. Getting blocked in these days is so easy. No joke. You got all these idiots out here. And they just don't seem to care where they park or who they block in. There used to be an alien in here. But there's not no more. That's a bummer. They took it out, man. Alien was cool. I wanted to ask you if you were ready to be alienated. <laughs> But no longer here. Just waiting on pizza right now. Gotta get some Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Mm -hmm. Well, I got my Little Caesars. And uh, 
something tells me my hunger was bigger than my stomach. <laughs> I guess I know what I'll be eating for the next two days. Pizza, pizza. What's up guys? Good morning. Another day in the life of a truck driver. Well, we're getting ready to leave Grand Island, Nebraska now. Did my pre-trip. All the lights are working, all the tires got air. Uh, the pin is connected. <laughs> Nobody pulled that in thing. One quarter mile, turn right on the oh my the God, that pizza. I'm so stuffed. Woo, I still got enough for a day. Easy. So, I have 775 right miles to go. West, then take the third right. Um, to my delivery. Recap, that's 725 miles to my delivery. I got today and tomorrow to do it in. So, what's the hurry? We're leaving very late this morning, very late. It's like hard to tell because there's no sun out, but it's 10 minutes after seven right now. Holy crap. Well, okay, we're gonna get to trucking, burn some diesel. Hope you enjoy the show. I will see you when I see you. Saturday and my company called me today. I was just informed I'm swapping loads with another driver in Davenport at 2100 a night, which is 9 p.m. The load that this driver is bringing me goes to the Costco distribution center in Salt Lake City. So, yeah, there'll be a swap and then we'll head right back where we just came from. Now, I'm at the Love, Love, Love truck stop in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I'm going to fill up my tanks. All right, went in, got my receipt. We're all juiced up. Man, this guy didn't give me a lot of room. I should be able to make it, though. Anyway, this swap is going to work really good for me because I want to be home for Easter. What's I want to say, by the way, to all you guys? Hope you have a very good Easter. And bless, you know, a good blessing Easter. Anyway, um, we only got like 170 miles to go to the Love's Truck Stop, which is right there close to Davenport. There ain't another one that I know of. So, uh, yeah, 
that's where we're going to go and more than likely that's where we're going to swap. But I think I'll call the gentleman that I'm swapping with and find out if he just wants to meet up at the at uh, Iowa 80. Because I know there'll be plenty of parking any time, day or night for both of us because once I swap, I'm staying there to finish my 10 hour break. I'm not going to be able to swap and drive away to go have to park somewhere else because he can't find a place to park. So we'll figure something out. You know, I'm not really sure what right now, but we always seem to, to make something work regardless. Okay, so we're going to get back on the road. Get to Des Moines in good time, hopefully, and uh, probably stop at the world's largest truck stop because I bought some lights last time I was there, and they're the wrong ones, like a week ago. So I'm hoping that they'll swap me out with the right ones or reimburse me my my my, my, my money back, my, my money back, <laughs> and then uh. I'm probably going to change out the blue lights to red lights. That's what I want to do anyway. Because the company don't allow blue. And I found out that I can get tickets in some states for running blue lights. So, uh, yeah, we're going to swap. That way I ain't got no problems. What the? F That's a big asshole right there. Damn. I go over that slowly. So yeah, I'll run the reds and then I got no problems. All is good in the hood. Alright then. We're going to get back to trucking. Burn some diesel. Which, I didn't get a full tank. I just put some in to uh, get me where I'm going. Because the load is like really heavy. 43,000 something pounds. And I don't want to be too much overweight when I swap. So let's burn some diesel. Hope you're enjoying the ride. Appreciate you guys. Turn right at the traffic light. Later. Take the first left. stopped in Walcott, Iowa. I'm going to take a break here and call the driver, see if he wants to meet here. Otherwise, I'm going to drive up to the Loves, which is right there by Davenport. So, we'll see what the driver's wanting to do. Anyway, I stopped here at the truck stop because uh, I bought some lights, light bulbs here the other day, and I got the wrong ones. I got these ones. And they have the double prong on the back, bottom. And what I need is the one that has the single prong on the bottom. So I'm going to go see if they'll uh, either give me my money back or just let me swap them for the right ones. So I'll let you know how that goes. Anyway, um, let me take a break. See you when I see you. Okay. So I went in and I got my light bulbs. Uh, they were actually the same exact price as the ones I bought previously. Except for they got the one prong rather than the two prong on the bottom. See, there's only one there. 
So these are red. I'm going to put these behind my sleeper and have red lights back there instead of the blue lights. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the red and the blue, switch back and forth. I don't know. But we're going red right now, and we'll see how long they last. Oh, and also, I got some uh, stuff for my license plate. I'm going to put this on around my license plate. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then I got these for uh, lug nuts. Or, not lug nuts. You know nuts to hold your license plate on. I don't know if you can see them. But they're skulls with crossbones. Pretty badass. Anyway, I guess I'm going to go put that stuff on. And then I'll show you when I'm finished. Hang on, hang on. I want you to see what it's like before I put it on first. So that's it. It's just a license plate on a bumper. Nothing special. All right, I couldn't put the skulls on the front end. I had to go with just the, the cover around here. There. That's the best I can do. And uh, I might get something to cover these bolts up, little chrome caps, I'm not sure. But that's pretty much all I can do for there. Anyway, it looks good. It have to work. That looks good. Now, I told myself I wasn't going to spend any money. No money on this truck. But, you know, 100 bucks really ain't nothing for a couple of little fancy doodads. And then um, the light bulbs are red. So I'm just going to put the white covers back on there with the red lights. And uh, hopefully they're good. They say ultra high powered lead light up to 10 times brighter. Well, I guess we'll find out at nighttime, won't we? So, I'm going to put these in. And now, I, I I talked to the guy who I'm swapping loads with. So, he's going to meet me here where I'm at now. I don't have to go anywhere. We're going to swap tonight. Uh, he's supposed to be here by 9 o'clock tonight. We'll get swapped. And then tomorrow morning when I get up. Uh, I'll be ready to go and we'll head right back the way we just came to uh, the Costco's DC that you saw me leave from on my last video. The last long video anyway. Because I don't know if I'm going to do a short video. So anyway, yep, going to do that. Take care of this. Take care of that. Get that done. Get something to eat. Just kick back and chill out, man. Enjoy my break while I'm here. And, uh, just get ready to head out in the morning. So, that's it. I'll talk to you later.